having the desire, you've already created it. So there's nothing to worry about. The desire is on its way to you. Just see the desire as a preview of what's to come because that is what it is. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and on this channel we talk about energy, consciousness, vibration, manifestation, and all of those high vibe esoteric topics that can help you live the life of your dreams. So let's get right into it. Today we're talking about desire. So when you desire something and you want to manifest it, how does that whole process work? So basically, once you have gone to the point when you have a desire in your heart that you want, it has already been manifested. It is already created. The desire already exists on a level because in order for you to have the desire, the desire has to already be created. So this means that when you are desiring something, it is something that already exists and that is why you are able to perceive of it. If this desire did not exist, if it was not possible, you wouldn't be able to perceive of the desire. You wouldn't have the desire within you. So essentially, just by virtue of you having a desire means that the desire already exists and all you have to do is manifest it into reality. So I want you to think of your desire desires a little bit differently. Typically you'll think of a desire as something that could happen in the future, that you want to make happen in the future, but you have to do all this manifestation, all this effort in order to bring your desire into your reality. We can change our thinking with desires by seeing them instead of something that we have to work to create, it is actually a preview of what is to come in our lives. So a desire, instead of being seen as something that you must create, is actually a preview of what is to come in your life. Because by the time that you are desiring something, you've already created it, and it's something that's about to manifest into your 3D reality. So this actually takes a lot of pressure off of us to come up with all these ways to manifest desires because we can really just relax and you can actually manifest by just knowing that it's already created and that's already happened. I have had so many experiences in my life where I've had a desire of something and I've really stressed over it. I've worried about it a lot and the desire ended up coming. Everything that I have desired that I wanted to manifest, it ends up coming in its own time. So I'm always fretting trying to figure out what is this desire? How can I bring this desire into my life? But the desire has just come and I'm starting to realize that all of these desires that we have, they're previews of things that are to come. Because essentially how desire works, and I have heard this from Teal Swan, so definitely check her out if you haven't already checked her out, but how she says that desire works is essentially you are a being that's creating by virtue of your experience and your contrast. Your soul essence, your energy is on earth just walking around experiencing things and these experiences are causing you to desire something and as soon as you have an experience that causes you to desire something else your soul essence or your higher self actually lines up with that desire because your higher self your soul essence it doesn't have the resistance that we have right it's in a different dimension it doesn't have all this like negative thinking these thought patterns it's just a free being of energy so when it desires something it's able to line up with that thing immediately and have it and then you in your 3d physical body are essentially trying to catch up to your soul energy and you will be able to catch up to your soul energy by bringing the desire into the 3d world by grounding the desire into earth so this essentially changes the way that we look at desire because once you already have a desire you have it right and then you have already created it on another level like in the quantum and all you have to do is ground it into earth so how can you do this right so you can look at it first of all as when you get a desire Instead of seeing it as either like a stressful thing, like, oh my gosh, I have to do all this inner work. I have to do all of this stuff so that I can have my desire. Instead of seeing it like that, you can change your thinking to see the desire as being something that's going to happen. So when you get a desire, picture it as a preview, like a movie trailer. It's something that's going to come. It's like a movie that's coming to theater soon. So you're essentially going to get this desire and see it instead of something that you want to create, see it as something that is inevitable to come because it is, it's something that you've already created. It's going to be brought to you one way or another. So that's the first step is to see your desire as something that is inevitable. It's something that's on the way. It's something that's coming. And then after you've pictured your desire as this, what you can do is lean back and follow your joy and follow your bliss. So essentially you can catch up with your 
energetic soul higher self that already has the desire by aligning with this energy so this energy is going to feel really good it's going to feel like bliss it's going to feel like joy it's going to feel like happiness and it's going to feel like relief so you want to work to create these own feelings in your life so what you can do is essentially journal on this so write down the desire that you want in your journal once you have written down the desire that you want write down how you would be feeling if you already had this desire and then write down how you would be thinking if you already had this desire and then write down what you would be doing if you already had this desire or what you would be doing to get this desire. So you're going to start by first aligning your feeling state with the feeling of already having the desire. So if you're trying to manifest love, how would you feel if you had love? Maybe you would feel safe. You'd feel a sense of relief. You'd feel a sense of companionship. You would feel very full, very happy. So write down those feelings that you would need to feel in order to get that thing. After you have a good idea of what the feeling state would be, try to think about the thoughts you would be thinking if you were in that feeling state. So maybe you're thinking about what you're gonna have for dinner with your lover or what you guys are going to do or what trips or vacations you're going to take. So what kind of thoughts would you be having if you already had this thing? And then you can think about what you would be doing to get this thing. So now you kind of start to ground this into the 3D world and think really real life, really tangibly on what you can actually do, what steps you can actually take to get this thing that you want. So you're going to make sure that you're in these feeling states as long as possible, the ones that align with what you want. Try to catch your thought patterns when they're going off course to bring them back so the thought patterns that are going to align you with already having this thing. And then you're going to start taking those actions that are going to get you to this thing. And what happens is that a lot of times we have thought patterns that are engraved in our head. We have core beliefs that are actually contradictory to what we want. And so this is what keeps our manifestations blocked. So what you can do is be very mindful of your thoughts. I definitely recommend meditation at least once a day in the morning is great. So when you wake up, meditate, center yourself, and then do your best throughout the day. This is a little bit difficult, so it's totally fine if you go off course, but do your best throughout the day to really align your thoughts and monitor your thoughts and align them with the patterns that you want them to have. Do your best to monitor your thought patterns, and when you start to notice those limiting belief thought patterns coming in, try to catch them, become aware of them, and be like, oh my gosh, this is a thought pattern that is completely opposite to what I want, so what can I do? If you find that it's difficult to shift your thought pattern to what you want, you can instead go to a neutral state, which means you'll notice it and you will take effort to switch your thought to something else. Maybe distract yourself. Maybe go and like wash the dishes or go and do like a work activity or something to take your thought out of this pattern. Because essentially these thought patterns, they get really embedded in our mind. And what we have to do to break out of them is catch them and then change the pattern in the moment when it's happening. But as someone who's tried to do this, you can definitely run up to a lot of resistance when you're doing this because your brain is so programmed in this way that when you try to change it, it's like so much resistance to stopping this thought pattern even though it's not serving you. So what it takes is just repetition. So you're gonna try to catch these thought patterns over and over again. If something happens where you mess up, that's totally fine and that's to be expected. But what you're going to do is try to catch these thought patterns, the ones that are against what you want as much as possible, and either switch them if you can to the thought pattern that aligns with already having what you want, or if you can't do that, just switch them to neutral and even maybe find a mantra or something you can focus on. I love the mantra so hum, it means I am, and this is a really great mantra for grounding. So maybe you're having a negative thought pattern and you're like, a thought pattern that's like, I'm not worthy of love, I'm not good enough for love, and you're like, wait, stop. So hum, and just focus your attention on the mantra. This is going to stop this thought pattern in its tracks, and then that's how you can eventually shift these good new thought patterns that are aligning with what you want. Because we need to look at our beliefs and our thought patterns as just programming of our minds. Programming that has been put in our minds through our experiences, through what people taught us when we were younger, through what we learned from other people. It's not good or bad, it's just the way our minds are programmed. So if we want to change what we're manifesting, if we want to bring our desires into reality, we just need to change the program in our mind. So look at your comp- your minds like it's a computer. How is this program running? Is the program serving me with what I want or is the program bringing more things into my life that I don't want and you can take back your power through your conscious awareness to notice the program and begin to slowly shift it 
one one day at a time, one thought pattern at a time. By catching these thought patterns, you can slowly shift them to thought patterns that align with what you want and beliefs that align with what you want. So essentially, that's what you can do to support your manifestations coming into your reality. But I just want the message of this video to be that your desires, they are already yours and they've already been created by the time you've had the desire. Basically, if you're having the desire, you've already created it. So there's nothing to worry about. The desire is on its way to you. Just see the desire as a preview of what's to come because that is what it is. And the more that you can take your blocks because the only thing that's keeping these desires from manifesting is the blocks, the mental blocks that we have, the thought patterns that contradict the desires. So if you can take these thought patterns and shift them to match the desire, the desire will come very quickly. And these desires, a lot of times, even if you have contradictory thought patterns, you can still manifest them. They can still come. But if your thought patterns are in alignment, it's going to be a lot more easy. It's going to be a lot quicker and it's going to be a lot more fun to manifest these desires. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you liked the video, be sure to click the like button below and subscribe to the channel for more esoteric manifestation high vibe content like this. And then I will see you guys next week. Bye.